Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. What enigmas might lurk beyond this newfound frontier? Are we teetering on the cusp of uncovering the paramount cosmic conundrum? Or is this the commencement of an entirely novel chapter in our cosmic odyssey? Well, it appears that Webb purports to have stumbled upon the terminus of space itself. Yes, you heard correctly. The ultimate frontier may not be as boundless as once believed. But pause for a moment. How can space possess an end point? Was it not destined to stretch into eternity? Let us delve into the truth behind these claims. Upon hearing this revelation for the first time, I was brimming with anticipation to unveil one of the universe's myriad mysteries. The James Webb Telescope has been diligently pursuing just that, and it's revolutionizing our comprehension of the cosmos. In a mere 12 hours of observation, this marvel has unveiled phenomena that have left us awestruck and perplexed. Now, envision with me the true expanse of the universe. Allow your imagination to roam freely, venturing to the farthest reaches of space. Now, let us ascertain the extent of the James Webb Space Telescope's vision, the tangible reality. So, come aboard our imaginary hyperspeed spacecraft, and let us waste no further time. We embark on a journey to the edge of our solar system, passing by planets such as Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Having traversed 100 astronomical units, we arrive at the heliosphere boundary. Beyond lies interstellar space, where the Voyager 1 and 2 probes have ventured. We proceed towards the Oort Cloud, a cluster of asteroids located 200,000 astronomical units away from Earth. It is desolate, and we navigate effortlessly through the asteroids, venturing into utter darkness, soaring past stars and planets. We reach the edge of our galaxy within minutes. No more interstellar wind, just bright dots of other galaxies mapping our route. We realize our universe isn't infinite. It has a boundary 10 billion light years away, and there might be other universes. The original supervoid, a billion light years wide, could be evidence of a collision with another universe. But how do we get to these other universes? Black holes might be the key. They're mysterious, warping both space and time. Some scientists even propose the existence of white holes, the opposite of black holes. The idea is that these might lead to other universes. Remember the little bang in 2006? That unusual burst of energy could have been a baby white hole, destroyed almost immediately. Now let's talk about the Andromeda Galaxy. Heading our way at 68 MS, don't panic, it won't crash tomorrow, but when it does, things get interesting. We might witness stellar collisions, or perhaps our solar system gets thrown into dark space like a tennis ball released on a rope. Fast forward, the galaxies merge, and the black holes at their centers start a dance. They eventually merge into a supermassive black hole, releasing energy and an active galactic nucleus visible for millions of light years. Then we've got the South Pole Wall, 500 million light years away, containing a quadrillion stars. There's also the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a flat superstructure 10 billion light years wide. And don't forget the huge large quasar group, 4 billion light years across and 6.1 billion times heavier than our sun. And then there's the observable universe, over 500 billion galaxies, each with billions of stars. But wait, there's a void called the Eridanus supervoid, or the cold spot, a billion light years wide. Some think it's a result of a collision of universes, two bubbles touching and tearing material away. Now picture the universe as a giant bubble, and there might be infinite bubbles, wormholes or portals inside. Black holes could be shortcuts between these universes. Imagine folding a piece of paper to connect two points without crossing the whole sheet. That's the idea. Speaking of black holes, falling into one could be survivable if it's supermassive. Gravity's effect increases gradually, avoiding the dreaded spaghettification. Who knows, surviving a fall might land you in a different universe with different physics, though for now, it's just a wild theory. So imagine you're out on a clear night, gazing up at the stars. It might seem like they're spread out evenly right? Well, it turns out that's not the case at all. Those stars are actually part of something massive, a gigantic cosmic web connecting galaxies across the universe. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have just stumbled upon what could be the oldest strand of this cosmic web ever discovered. Now, let me break it down for you. In two papers published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, scientists spill the beans on this incredible find. 
They used data from the James Webb Space Telescope to uncover a colossal tendril made up of 10 closely packed galaxies. It stretches over a mind-boggling 3 million light years. Xiaohui Fan, an astronomer from the University of Arizona and part of the research team, couldn't contain his surprise, saying, I was surprised by how long and how narrow this filament is. I expected to find something, but I didn't expect such a long, distinctly thin structure. It's like stumbling upon a hidden ancient treasure in the cosmic vault. This ancient filament of gas and stars dates back to a mere 830 million years after the Big Bang. That's practically the universe's baby years. And guess what's anchoring this colossal thread? A supermassive black hole, of course. This black hole is no ordinary one. It's a quasar, an extremely bright celestial object that acts like the anchor for this cosmic structure. The team behind this mind-blowing discovery is part of the ASPIRE project. What's ASPIRE? Well, it stands for a Spectroscopic Survey of Biased Halos in the Ryanization Era. Fancy name, right? Their mission, to figure out how the earliest black holes influenced the evolution of galaxies. And guess what led them to this ancient filament? One of the 25 early universe quasars they had their eyes on. Feng Wang, an astrophysicist from the University of Arizona and the brain behind Aspire, is pretty excited. This is one of the earliest filamentary structures that people have ever found associated with a distant quasar, he exclaimed. It's like they stumbled upon a cosmic treasure map revealing secrets of the universe's early days. Now here's where it gets interesting. The researchers think that black holes played a crucial role in forming this cosmic web. Imagine black holes acting like magnets, drawing matter together with their gravity. But wait, they occasionally fling stuff far away with what they call cosmic winds. Gravity is the glue that keeps these strands of stars and dust connected, even as the cosmic winds try to pull them across the vastness of the universe. So what's the future of this ancient filament? Well, the researchers have a pretty cool idea. They believe that over time, this cosmic thread will condense into a cluster of galaxies, kind of like the Coma Cluster, which is about 330 million light years away from us. It's like watching the universe evolve and create its own intricate masterpiece over millions of years. When the Webb telescope focused its mirrors on a patch of sky, it saw way more light and way more galaxies than expected. Not just any galaxies, but big, bright ones. Now scientists are scratching their heads and coming up with different possibilities to explain this cosmic mystery. And let me tell you, these possibilities are like forks in the road, each leading to new questions and understandings. Now, here's the exciting part. You're not just a spectator. You can join the exploration. Share your thoughts on these cosmic revelations in the comments below. Do you think there's a hidden message in those distant lights? Or is the universe playing a game of hide and seek with us? If you're as fascinated by space as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell faster than the speed of light. We'll keep you updated on the latest discoveries and dive even deeper into the secrets of the cosmos. Until then, keep wondering, keep exploring, and who knows? You might just be the one to crack the code of the universe.